Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Welcome to my channel. Today is a collaboration day with Shelly Carruthers from Shelly Art. You all know her, she's awesome. Um, we're both going to try to do flip cups with her pouring medium recipe on a 12 inch square canvas. I'm nervous. I consider the flip cup with that pouring medium um, the hardest technique at least so far that I've tried only because I'm not familiar with the way the paint behaves. Um, I have figured out some things like let it sit. If you don't have lacing or cells right away, just wait because as soon as you stretch, they tend to appear. They hide underneath the white or whatever color you're using for your cell activator. Um, I do know that hers will be set to music because she had some uh, noise in the background and I said, that's okay, I'll talk enough for both of us. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, huge shout out and kudos to her for, you know, bringing this whole new, new uh, way of doing things um, to the pouring world. Much appreciated. So before we get started, oh, before I do show and tell, um, the colors that we're using tonight for this flip cup, they're very similar. I don't have um, pigments in things the way she does. So I'm using basically mostly golden fluid acrylics. Our colors will be very, very similar, if not exact. So, um, but this is what we're using um, as uh, our inspiration. So, but we decided to add a little bit of um, more of a reddish tone to go with the purple. For bronzes and golds, um, I do know, I think she's using um, black as her cell activator and I'm going to use white. So um, to make up for that, I'm gonna throw in some Payne's Gray. But that's our inspiration for colors. And then show and tell, let me do newest to oldest. So last video was the live pour. Thank you to those who attended, um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I couldn't keep up with all the comments on the screen, but apparently um, at one point I was busy fiddling with my um, my stand that holds my phone because there were shadows on the canvas. And it turns out you guys were just goofing around because it was making naughty looking shadows and I got a big kick out of that. <laughs> but anyway, here's the <laughs> results um, of that one. It is the wildest looking painting I think I have ever done. Um, it is as shimmery as it, um, it looks with my overhead light hitting it. Um, very, very shimmery. It dried great. I did go in um, with a color wash um, in some areas like up here where it had faded off into white, if you remember. And it did it, I think, down here too. So I just made it look a little more uniform after the fact. Um, crazy, crazy cells and lacing like I love this whole part right here it's just awesome sauce it needs a bright white wall to like really make a statement piece and I like my sides too check those out that's cool 12 by 24 I'll probably just give it um a light varnish just for UV protection and then it'll be up on Etsy and then I think the video before that I think, I can't remember if it was the big one or the little one. And I showed the big one um, during the beginning of the live pour video. But I know if you went to watch the replay, you probably fast forwarded through all that hi, 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 hi stuff. So I'm gonna show that one again real quick just so some of you can see the final results. And we had picked an orientation. So I have my initials up here, but they're just there with a Copic marker. So a little bit of alcohol will take those right off. So this is how I'm gonna frame it. It's whoa, see, it's really not in that frame yet. But there's that guy, it, it turned out great, like really happy. I did again go in and touch up a couple of the little um, speckles it had, not all of them. I left some there because they look like little cells, but the blue, oh my gosh. I need to do a painting in blues because that part just slays me. I just love the whole look of it and the colors. And um, again, it probably doesn't need resin or anything, but I'm gonna because I don't know. It's it's a uh, it's a keeper. I'm not gonna keep it. I will sell it, but um, it's definitely a statement piece. And then before that, we had done. 
um, this little guy that also, I think this was 202, 203 video number. Um, when I look at this, I imagine I'm in a helicopter touring the Hawaiian Islands and I'm looking down and I see the hills going up into the mountains and there's a stream and like a little rock bed and over here is just like a little body of water off to the side. Um, really, really stunning colors. That one came out great. And I just need to put hardware and stuff on this guy and uh, it'll be up for sale. So I think we're all caught up. Yep. Mm, let me get you guys down. Oh. It was tough doing a, um, a collab with somebody with a 16 hour time difference too. But somebody said to me one time that um, if it's 3 p.m. here on the East Coast and it's like five in the morning in, the, uh, in Australia and that kind of stuck with me. So I always use that as my barometer to like send her a message. I'm like, what time is it there? Is she awake? <laughs> Or is it the middle of the night? I never know. All right, so colors for this endeavor. Um, I do have one um, non-golden paint. I do have um, metallic new penny. This is the um, paint you can get at Target. It's handmade modern. A little bit of that um, because it's halfway between copper and bronze and I was out of bronze. So we're using uh, this penny color put that there. We have one tube paint. That's Liquitex Basics. This is Payne's Gray. I don't like their shade of Payne's Gray. It doesn't have enough blue in it for me. I think when it goes lighter, it turns more into steel gray. So, but you know, we we'll use it up. And then um, for gold, we have Golden's Gold. <laughs> Iridescent Gold. So we have lots of gold. That's just pretty. And then our pops of color, I'm using permanent violet dark. And I added a little bit too much, too many drops because I didn't want it this dark. I think I mentioned on um, one thing I like about doing this with the golden fluids is you can control the hue. And um, I added a little too much because it's almost identical to the bottle. And I wanted it to be a little lighter, but It'll be fine once it hits up against the uh, titanium white. And then finally, we have some Utrecht um, red violet, this color right here. So um, for this pouring medium, I used my Sharon Williams HGTV um, Ultra Deep Base. And I did a one-to-one -one ratio this time because I wanted it a little bit thinner uh, with Minwax polyacrylic and gloss. And I threw out the container because since it was one-to-one, -one, I, I killed it off and made a big batch to keep it. Uh, house paint is my usual um, Glidden Essentials semi-gloss white down on the canvas. And this time I didn't add GAC to it. I added some, like a quarter cup of American Floetrol uh, to thin it out to make it runny and then I spilled some, hence the mess on my counter. And then finally, we got our titanium white. So I made enough to like, you know, I don't have a, a, an ego to think that I'm gonna get this right on the first try or like it on the first try. So I made enough to, you know, go a couple times if needed, because you know, it's me, Miss Picky Pants. And, oh gosh, let's see what happens. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of sales and lacing. We'll see. So I'm just gonna take my white and I'm gonna put in about, it's not quite a third, somewhere between a quarter and a third of a cup of my white. And then I'm gonna layer my colors. And I'm gonna use the 
Payne's Gray kind of as a barrier because I'm, if I start with one of the colors, they're gonna go lighter and I kind of want to keep them pretty vivid. So this is like a good barrier. So add some Payne's Gray. And then we'll go with the Red Violet. And then maybe the gold. Oh gosh, so pretty on the red violet. And then the regular violet. And then copper penny color. And I'm gonna add just a thin layer, just a little layer of each one all over again. Or maybe not because if I need to go again, I won't be able to. So let's just let me add maybe a little more violet. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of white on the top. Just a little squiggle. Look at it sink. See that? It was like, I'm out of here. Later. All right, so when I um, put on my house paint, I tried to make it as thin as possible. Um, so this isn't very thick, as you can tell I put my finger in it, like it's, it's not like I'm going in it at all. It's barely covered. So, okay, ready? Bottoms up. Um, I've gotta remember not to drag and I gotta remember, my natural uh, inclination is to lip it right away and make a pattern, because that's just very natural to me. Um, that's my preferred go-to technique. And so I'm gonna try and stop myself. Give this a second. And uh, let's see if we get something good. I got out of a speeding ticket the other day. I didn't tell you guys. But let me concentrate. I'm gonna save the story for another day because I wanna concentrate. All right, I'm just gonna lift up, ready? I'm gonna let it be. Oh, look at the lacing in my cup. Can you see that? Probably not. Shadow. That was gorgeous, though. The inside of my cup. Pretty. Oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. All right. Let me pop some bubbles. Hiya. Yeah. Any of those? Is that it? Just the two? I guess so. All right, doesn't seem to be doing anything. It's not freaking out. Uh, every, I mean, it's just, I, I feel like I need to hold it up because it's just so, so gorgeous. And I'm about to like, you know, ruin all that. Hopefully not, but you know what I mean. Like when it comes out of the cup so pretty and you don't want to tilt. Yeah, that's me right now. Definitely me right now. But you gotta, like this here, I know would turn into lacing if I go the right direction. These are gonna get gigantic. Um, I think I'll just swirl, make the circle bigger, and then probably lose some of this. And uh, we'll see what we get. Let me just swirl in a circle. hair. Do I have a hair in my canvas? Am I shedding? No? Okay. I'm going to keep going.
I might have to add uh, I might have to add paint to this. It's already really thin. I might have been a little too skimpy with the uh, with the house paint. Well, I'm at my first corner. I'm gonna try and save some of the paint since it seems skimpy. And like roll away with my hand. I'm gonna put some on that corner right there. Where do I wanna go next? Add the weight of the paint back to the center. Let me come up to this other corner because it seems I feel like I have some paint at least right here to help it float. If I don't for those other two corners, then I'll throw on some white. And I'm gonna put my hand right here, try to save some of the gray. I want that to come off, bring it back. Roll my hand away. All right, let me turn it around, take a look at it. Yeah, see this is like canvas right under there. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna wipe off my hand and then add some more white to help this get where it's going. But so far, so good. It's pretty. It is really pretty. Good cells, got some lacing going on. This is gonna, if I can get this part to stretch out, that, that has potential right there. But, let me just add with my stick. Just a little more white to help it get where it needs to go. I'm gonna push that into there a little bit too, just to help it along. Just like, everybody follow me. Come with me. Come along little doggies. Don't be afraid of that edge. Can't hurt you. <laughs> so silly. Uh, all right. Let's bring it on down. I kind of want to come straight down first. Might be slow going. all this stuff on the side but I might not have a choice so let me just go to that corner and not worry about that beautiful gold let's help it along like that a little squeezing trick I always saved a little bit of the gold I'm gonna bring it back and as predicted it's stretching out that one lacy part And see how the cells are popping up under the white? I knew I predicted it, called it, called it, y'all. All right, so far so good. That one part's racing off nicely. Off the side. And let's bring it all back. Keep move some of this over. I'm just making composition right now, or trying to. Oh, 
What do I think of it? Is that it? Am I done? Am I just gonna call it and be like, ta-da? Do I like those right there? No, I don't, so off they go. I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of white right there and then pour it off. Cause I didn't like that gray blob. I'm staring, y'all. I don't know, I don't know. It's, um, what do I think of it? The colors are amazing, there's no doubt about it. Let me fix my one corner that I was putzing with here. Everybody come down a second, I know. I know, you were just there. I know. One, two, three, off you go. Okay, take it back off. I lost a little bit of lacing, but that corner really bugged me. And stretch things out a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying, I don't think I like that thing. I don't know what that thing is, but I think I'm gonna ruin this painting. I'm trying to get them off. We'll see, there goes one, two. Let me stop and stare and see if I ruined it. I did, didn't I? Oh my gosh, you guys. I just ruined a perfectly good painting. Over tilting, boo. Over tilting. You guys can yell at me in the comments, like you idiot. Right? Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. Um, well crap. <sighs> that was stupid. Stupid, stupid move. Stupid move. You know why I got greedy? Because I'm like, ah, oh, I did it in the first shot. I'm changing up my order a little bit too. Um, and I shouldn't have thought, you know, I should have stopped. Why don't you guys yell at me? You really should have yelled at me right there, I feel. bit of a fuller cup so um, I have more to play with although probably should take take the paint away from me and put me in a timeout in the corner or something I know all right take two my bad that was totally my bad it was a perfectly lovely painting perfectly lovely It happens to all of us though, I think, right? Happens to us all. And I could cheat and like turn off the camera and clean up and pretend like I'm going all over again, but that requires more effort on my part. And I'd rather just show you the uh, mistake, I think. hopefully not screw it up a second time, right? Walk away. All right, take two. No more goober moves. Well, that's interesting. Stopping myself from lipping it because I wanted to go right through the middle of that and I didn't. There's going to be color popping up under there. 
for sure. It's spreading out, it's growing. Just like a little caldera. Look at the lacing there though. Oh my goodness. Still moving. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing. Swish it around in circles and see what appeals to me as I go. Hopefully some more uh, gold shows up or some new penny color or something. for that corner already do I just like last time that worked out the last time let's try it again and then release it and just like last time put some on that corner and then bring that down actually I don't like the bend it's gonna make so I'm gonna take it over this time I'm gonna bring it on over here. Be lining for that one corner. I knew I was going to lose those cells. It is like a piece of. Um, a gate, right? That's what I see. That is totally what I see, y'all. It's, um, I'm just staring at it because it's, it's starting to sew up on the sides. Whoa, did you see that? I just gave a little puff and ba-bam. I'm only going to do that in the middle, too. That's like a piece of, uh, like a semi-precious stone. You should see how pretty my hand is. I can't really show you because I'd have to go right on top of the uh, camera, so I'm not going to do it. Um, yeah, I think I say ta-da and don't touch this. And here's, I don't know if you guys can see it, getting some cells here. The lacing up here is kind of gold white, and then down here, same deal. It's like the same. And then here is, there's like cells um, that are really, really fine, but they have the bump, like I'm a cell, and I'm a cell, and I'm a cell. And there's a bubble I'm not even gonna touch. Yeah, that's my uh, semi-precious gem. Ta-da! I'd be crazy to touch it, right? Right? I think so. Let me get you guys down. I think I poured off enough paint. Oh, come on off. So yeah, check out this top part. I don't know if you can see the cells in here. They're like rose gold with the lacing right there all the way across. And then they come all the way around the centerpiece and then this is just all mostly the gold copper the paints gray all the colors all very very shimmery I don't know if it's going to show up on the camera 
and then that lacing continues all the way around it like this and even the parts here that don't really have anything are just all rose gold so <laughs> please dry well I'm not touching it it is cool as I'll get out I don't like that yeah really I mean if I wanted like to be ultra picky I'd be like oh I want it to be completely enclosed well you know that's just unrealistic so I'll take it it's pretty where am I so what's that it took me 30 minutes that first time that was a nice painting too I'm just Karen Goober move y'all got paint my hair paint my glasses paint on my arm um that's it uh, I'll have a link to um, Shelly's channel. Check her out on Instagram. If you have purchased her course, please, if you haven't already, join her Facebook group. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, one more pour, and then I'm off to Miami for a few days. So take care, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. I sound like a commercial. Have a good evening. evening. <laughs> Just bye -bye. real quick. It's pronounced... Agate, not a gate. Such a goober. <laughs> Bye, guys.